Hi, my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Okay, so I have our confirmed radioactive black sand from Kerala and here you can see the spectrum and the spectrum contains photons that are attributable to the thorium-232 and uranium-238 reaction chains and also a bit of potassium-40 in there. That's what we can see from the radio code here and I've got a couple of sample jars here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure some because I'm hoping to throw this on an SEM uh, tomorrow and uh, see if we can confirm the elements in there and what I'm going to try and do is use this magnet to separate the magnetic component from it and uh, see if there's any difference in constitution between the magnetic component and the non-magnetic component, I'm sure there will be. So, here we go. Uh, I'll put it on here. And let it settle. Kind of auto-tears when it goes on. I've kind of pre-partially screwed this off. So, I don't want much. just need a few grains, really. But... Uh, I'm going to take a little bit enough so that we can get a measurable amount. Okay, there we go. So let's try and make this to keep the maths easy. Uh, all right, well, looks like about one eighth of a gram there. Nice having something black on something that's white. Okay, so that's that over there. Put that back. It can bleep away as it likes. Right, now we're going to see if we can magnetically separate these. I've not done this, so this could be a disaster. So, for purposes of record, this is 0.115 of a gram. And a container is tear that four point three nine three of a gram or rather four point three nine three grams. So we'll take that and we'll move that out of the way and we'll see if we can do some sort of magnetic holding here and I don't know whether it's going to be enough to go through that glass it's just not that magnetic I don't know if you can see that but it doesn't seem to be a lot of movement in there so this may not work we might just have to take a sample of the whole thing maybe maybe I can go over there and no it just doesn't seem to be good enough strong enough to move these particles oh no I'm getting a few but this isn't going to be the way to do this, so we might just have to sample the whole lot. Anyway, so that is the sample uh, that we're going to use to base our analysis on, on an SEM, and we'll take a small fraction of that and put it on a Ted Peller, a sample holder, and see what we see. Probably only need a few grains of each of the white and yellow and black sands. Anyway, thank you very much for your time. I'll see you in the next video.